Hello YouTubers, it's Magic the Gathering UK here again, and today we're cracking open a couple of these crazy booster packs. One Masters 25 and one Iconic Masters. Possibly the two worst Masters sets they've ever released, but they're still pretty cool. There's still some nice things to find inside. The chance of that are very slim however, because there's not many of them in these sets. But you do get a foil in every pack, which is always nice. Um, so yeah, let's see what we can get. I've always wanted to get the person that's on this packaging here. Can't remember the name now, unfortunately. Grand Cenobite. There's a name in front of that. Elish Norn, there we go. Elish Norn, I wouldn't mind getting Elish Norn. But yeah, let's start with Iconic Masters. That is the... That came out before Masters 25, so... Let's see what we can get. Honestly, can't remember what's in these sets too much. There is Ether Vial, I believe, at Rare. There's a card I need from Iconic Masters at Rare, which is the the Land uh, Horizon Canopy. The Mythics aren't particularly good in Iconic Masters, from what I remember. Anyway, we have an Infantry Veteran, is our first common. Thought Scour. Mark of Mutiny, Survival Cash, Ivy Elemental, Child of Night, Eternal Thirst, Jesse and Feath, Furnace Whelp, Moon Glove Extract, First Uncommon is a Sandstone Oracle, it's a weird looking card. And a Simic Growth Chamber is the second uncommon. Followed by an Illusory Angel, so no good uncommons in this pack, unfortunately. The rare, dun, 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 as I say, most of the rares in this set suck, so. Uh, yeah, we'll see, it's green, it's not a good start. Lotus Cobra would be pretty cool. Uh, nope. Jugan the Rising Star, one of the uh, dragons from the. Oh, Kamigawa block. Used to be mythics, now only rares. And still worthless. We've got a green rare. It begins with N. Nature's Cool or something. Nature's Claim. Nantuko Husk. Nantuko Shaman. So, completely garbage pack. Literally uh, about two P's worth of cards in there. So, that was good. Considering these packs cost £10. And a spirit token. So yeah, this is why people hated these sets, because you, know, you get absolutely hosed when you open them. Why'd you buy it then? I think you bought me that one. <laughs> I bought uh, a couple of these Masters ones, because they're cheaper at GP, and I needed I needed one for my collection anyway. Let's see if we can get a bit luckier with Master 25. We have a Ruthless Ripper. Chartooth Cougar, Act of Heroism, Ambassador Oak, Phantasmal Bear, Moyoda, Uncaged Fury. Hey! Totally lost! Hey. <laughs> there Lady, he is! Lady Hand's favourite. He's so scared. <laughs> Great card. Self-Assembler, Arbor Elf, Curiosity is the first uncommon I think, it's hard to tell with the symbol on this set, but Street Wraith, that's a good uncommon I think, maybe, it's the second uncommon, followed by Brine Elemental, it's the final uncommon, that's definitely not a good one, pretty sure Street Wraith, Street Wraith is pretty good though. And the red. Oh, this is not good. I can already tell it's a miracle card, and none of the miracles are worth anything. This might actually be the mythic. Oh no, no, oh, it's not. It's a um, it's Eidolon of the Great Revel. It's not a mythic. It's a rare, but this is a creature enchantment thing. This one's pretty good. This is what's played in Burn in Modern. So this is not bad pickup. 
Um, it's the one that deals damage when you cast spells. Apologies if you can hear kids in the background. Our neighbours are very annoying. So there's that. Well, you get four as well. Oh, is it a land? No, it's red. Mm. Excited then. It's red. It's not good. P Pyro. Pyroclasm. It's an uncommon. But it's pretty garbage. Oh, I never get lucky with these packs, ever. And a soldier token. Woo. So there we go, we got something fairly decent, I guess, in Eidolon of the Great Rebel. I don't think it's worth too much. But it is a good card, so not too shabby. And unfortunately, the dragon from the other pack is not good. Jugan, the rising star. There's a whole cycle of these. There's five different ones. And I don't think this is one of the better ones. I think the black one's probably the best one, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, and it's about a pound, probably. So we didn't do very well, considering these packs retail at £10 a pop. You can get them cheaper than that, of course, but that's what they retail at. And uh, this is definitely the best hit of the day. Eidolon of the Great Revel. And even that isn't worth anything, relatively speaking. Maybe a couple of quid. So there we go, hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Subscribe to the channel for more Magic the Gathering goodness. As always, me and the lady hands. We'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.